morning from Elbetel family. As we have stepped into this new year, I want to encourage each and every one of you to start reading the word of God. It is not just a book. It is the only book that God has says that I have breathed upon. It is alive and this is for real. When you read this book, which is the Bible, God starts speaking to you. And when that happens, your soul is restored. Don't we all need rest and peace? Then this is what will give you the rest and peace. I can smile at any situation and every situation. It's only because when the storm has come and the storm has not passed, God has given me wings to fly above the storm. The word of God says, fear not. I am with you. I will never leave you. I will always protect you. I am your God. He has said this so many times in the Bible. You can see Deuteronomy 31, 8, Hebrews 11, 5, Joshua 1, 5. The best that I like is uh, Isaiah 41, 10 to 13. Let me read it out for you. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be nothing. And those who strive with you shall perish. You shall seek them and not find them. Those who contend with you, those who war against you shall be nothing. As a non-existent thing, for I am your Lord, your God, will hold you Hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. So you see, friends, God has told us so many times, I will help you, I am there for you, I will be there for you. So it's our duty to just trust the word of God, trust God and be at rest. All we need to do is to read this book again and again and again and again till these words sink into your system. And then I assure you, your soul will be 100% at rest and restored from the worries around and your situations cannot trouble you anymore. Such a beautiful thing and such a simple thing that we are supposed to do is just read the word of God. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful word that you've given us, for this wonderful promises that you keep reminding us throughout this Bible that you will never leave us and we need not be fearful of any situations and any troubles around us. And you will take care of our enemies and in you we put our trust. In Jesus' most precious name I pray. Amen.